he trying to be. He named himself 50 Cent after another, the street nigga, right? Big Meech, Bell and Butler. It's my partners in real life, cuz. Right now, he getting the BMF story. Guess what? He doing business with my partners. When he put Kendrick Lamar on power, he put my little homie on power. I introduced 50 to Top Dog. Top Dog got a check off my G-Unit budget. Him and Felly Fell, one of the only two people that actually got paid out of, out of a budget that barely got cracked open. Dead homies, cuz. Coach T, what it do? Plenty Bay Mac apparel coming. Shout out two shares. This shit moving. On my mama. On my mama, mama. That's the new thing, y'all. Instead of just being on my mama, that's on my mama, mama. So it ain't two M's, it's three M's. Oh, my mama, mama, girl. Sign me, bro. Bay Mac, Australia. I guess a nigga got I can't hate on a nigga that's going to shoot his shot, girl. You know, I guess somewhere in the universe, there's a possibility a motherfucker might have said, okay, all right, uh, I'm sending the paperwork over right now. <laughs> oh, my mama, mama, one-on-one. I hope so, uh, Blake. But I think it's 6 9 I think Nas' prophetic statement is finally uh, applicable. Hip-hop is dead if that nigga at the top. That nigga straight rainbow sherbet, cuz. Rainbow and sweet and soft. I mean, that's exactly what he is. Ain't, 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 psh, it's a rap. Cuz I wish they would let me get back on Will of Fortune, cuz. I'm going to let y'all know something about that with a foot. I'm a, I'm a wordsmith. I just fuck with words. I might not be exceptional at many things, but I am exceptional at the, uh, with my, with the ability of manipulating words and communicating with words. I just love words because words play a trick on my mind. Every time I see a sign on top of a, a business or a traffic sign, my mind automatically take the words, start mixing it up, seeing other words in it ever since a child. And for me, every time I ever did a word search in class, I always finished first. All that puzzle shit with the words just always crack with me, right? So imagine me meeting Suge Knight and just opening my mouth and giving him words. Within five minutes, he said, okay, I'm going to change your life for this role. Imagine me meeting Young Buck, open my mouth, just giving him my words and him having a, a near-death experience and talk about words. Them is just words. How do you move a nigga with words like that? We all know the same words. Imagine me being on Will of Fortune and Pat Sajak. The white motherfucker who just met Curtis from Compton, a security guard, who was around me for 22 minutes, who was around six sets of three people every single day for the last 30 years playing these word games. And what I watched a large percentage of these episodes, and this nigga Pat Sajak walked over to me after I won one puzzle, came over and said, oh, you made that look easy. The second time he came over to me, a man who has made cabillions off his facial features, Walked over to me and said, oh, you did pretty good, baby face. That's an endorsement from Pat Sajak once again. And then after I won the third puzzle, the nigga came, or at the end of the episode, after I finally made one error and fumbled, which caused me to, cost me the big bag, this nigga came over and told everybody in the studio audience and in the TV land, you see the way this guy plays the Will game of Will of Fortune, the word game, <laughs> the biggest word game in the world? He said, this is how you play it, just like he plays. That's what he told everybody. Dead homies, cuz. Beautiful words, you feel me? Crayola just... <laughs> they just copyrighted that, my nigga. Just saying, my nigga. Words, cuz.